competed in 23 events on the Web.com Tour, finishing 26th on the money list. However, the absence of that extra bit of luck this time meant that Xander Shoffley would miss out on getting a PGA Tour card for the 2017 golf season, having fallen short on the money list by a little less than $1,000. However, he would later earn his chance to join the PGA Tour mid-season with 15th place on the Web.com Tour Finals money list. Xander Shoffley began his rookie career at the Career Builder Challenge in California. However, it was his incredible performance at the 2017 U.S. Open that took took everyone by surprise. Despite being a newbie in the competition, Xander Shoffley amassed a bogey-free 66 rounds. Rather intriguingly, it was the first time any golfer would be making a bogey-free round of 66 in only their debut appearance. Although the American golfer would finish the tournament tied for the fifth spot, his run was enough to grant him qualifications for the 2018 PGA Championship. Xander Shoffley was not messing around in his rookie year. He clinched the Greenbrier Classic only three weeks after his heroics in California to automatically seal a slot into the Open Championship. Following fine delays at the FedEx Cup playoffs, Xander Shoffley moved from the 33rd spot on the FedEx Cup standings to the 26th. With that, he secured qualification for the Tour Championship. With the man of many nations still in his ruthless form, the exceptional golfer defeated Justin Thomas to clinch the Tour Championship. Of course, that win meant a lot for the young Xander Shoffley. First, he became the first debutant to win the Tour Championship or any FedEx Cup playoff tournament in their first appearance. It didn't end there for the 2017 Greenbrier Classic champion. The victory pushed him to the third spot on the final FedEx Cup standings, making him the first rookie to have moved so high on the list. To crown it all, Xander Shoffley secured a spontaneous three-year privilege on the PGA Tour till the end of the 2019 to 2020 PGA Tour season. Xander Shoffley also sealed the 2017 Rookie of the Year while moving from a paltry 299th spot in the global golf ranking to the 32nd spot. For the 2017-18 PGA Tour season, Xander Shoffley enjoyed a decent outing, but not quite as exhilarating as his rookie year exploits. We would never know if this was down to switching equipment manufacturers, but it's worth considering. By the start of 2018, Xander Shoffley dumped TaylorMade to sign for Callaway. In May of the same year, he finished the 2018 Players' Championship tied for second place. He followed that up with an additional runner up finish at the 2018 Open Championship. At the start of the 2018 FedEx Cup playoffs, the 2017 Rookie of the Year was in 28th place on the logs. By the third event in the series, he was already further adrift, in 41st position, knowing that he needed to finish in the top 30 to muster any hope of competing in the 2018 Tour Championship, Xander Shoffley ended the 2018 BMW Championship tied for third place to move to a comfortable 18th place on the standings. However, he could not defend the title he had won in 2017, as he could only manage to tie for 7th place in the 2018 Tour Championship. Xander Shoffley went on to join the 2018 European Tour events as an affiliate member, with the PGA Tour having provided the necessary experience he needed. He succeeded in clinching the 2018 WGC HSBC Championship and further recorded some impressive outings on the tour to earn himself fourth place on the European Tour Order of Merit list. In January 2019, Xander Shoffley returned from trailing five shots behind Gary Woodland at the Century Tournament of Champions to surpass his Kansas-born opponent, subsequently clinching the title in Hawaii. In April of 2019, Xander Shoffley missed out on winning the Masters Tournament, falling to Tiger Woods by only a single stroke. At the U.S. Open in California, Xander Shoffley managed to finish in the top five with a tie for the third spot. However, an unwanted highlight of his 2019 outing came during the Open Championship when his driver failed to comply with the RNA conformity test. With the RNA openly announcing that the American golfer's driver had failed the test, Xander Shoffley had to endure getting called a cheater by a fellow golfer. Although the 2018 WGC HSBC champion admitted he was jokingly called a cheater, he still wouldn't hold back from openly condemning the RNA for trying to ruin his career. Xander Shoffley believed that the RNA could have kept secret the inadequacies of the Callaway driver. The American golfer further cited the decision of the RNA to test only 30 of the available 156 drivers as one taken in bad faith. However, the RNA would later claim that it had always treated situations regarding 
using players' drivers as a confidential matter. Regardless, Xander Shoffley sadly became the first known golfer to have his driver fail an RNA test. In August 2019, Xander Shoffley fell to Rory McIlroy by three strokes to miss out on winning the Tour Championship for a second time. In December 2019, the American golfer followed his 2019 President's Cup victory in the U.S. team with a singles victory against veteran golfer Adam Scott. In April 2021, the San Diego-born golfer star continued his run of near misses to finish the Masters in the third spot. However, he would make five nations proud with a single-shot victory over Roy Sabatini at the Olympics. Thanks to this incredible win, Xander Shoffley became the first American in over 120 years to win a gold medal at the Olympics. That's one for the history books and a bigger win for the man that kept his father's dream alive. 2022 has been a run of wins and top-class performances for the 2021 Olympic gold medalist. In April, Xander Shoffley clinched the New Orleans Zurich Classic alongside Patrick Cantley. Two months later, he added the Travelers Championship to his wins for the year, making it his sixth title on the PGA Tour. A few days after winning the JP McManus Pro-Am event under the European Tour, Xander Shoffley sealed his seventh PGA Tour title with a resounding victory at the Genesis Scottish Open in Scotland. So, how much is this Olympic medal winner worth? According to multiple sources, Xander Shoffley is worth around $20 million. A large proportion of his net worth is down to winnings from the golf course. In addition, the 2022 Zurich Classic champion boasts exclusive deals with sports companies like Callaway Golf, Adidas Golf, Highland Graham, and Life at Aon. In all of these, Xander Shoffley never forgets to give to the needy. The young American golfer owns a non-profit group known as the Xander Shoffley Family Foundation. Tasked with taking up all of his charity duties, Xander Shoffley may be fully into his golfing career at the moment, but the San Diego-born golfer is also a married man, having tied the knot in 2021 with his long-term friend and partner, Maya Lowe. The couple currently resides in his mansion in Las Vegas and is expecting their first kid. It would be interesting to see if they intend to introduce their children to golf and carry on the family sport.